Hello there. Today we have Ben Singh, CEO of Bullfrog AI, which trades on the NASDAQ under the ticker BFRG. Vin, great to see you again. Great to see you, Craig. Thank you. Let's start with an overview of your platform, Vin, and what makes it unique? So we are a tech-enabled drug development company. We have a proprietary AI that comes from Johns Hopkins University Applied Physics Lab. This is an award-winning technology. It won Innovation of the Year at the Applied Physics Lab. About a month ago, uh, that technology developed by APL was uh, recognized as a finalist in the R&D 100 Award, uh, which is the global Oscars for R&D. That's what they're, it's considered. And we have a publication uh, that APL put out uh, over a year ago that some of our algorithms to the most popular clustering algorithms used in the world and these algorithms that we've licensed came out on top for speed and accuracy of prediction. So we're starting with a very uh, powerful, uh, you know, rock solid technology from a blue, blue chip institution. Um, and we're very excited about that. Vin, just how big is the market opportunity your company is addressing? Well, we know uh, AI uh, as a tool in uh, drug development and clinical development, it's a multi-billion dollar market. Uh, when you look at things like uh, rescuing failed drugs or repurposing existing drugs, that's a market that's in the many billions. Uh, when, it, when you're talking about rescuing drugs, and we have not done that yet, but it's something we're very interested in, there have been thousands and thousands of drugs that have failed in late stage clinical trials. And remember, at that point, hundreds of millions of dollars in many years has been invested in each drug. So there's a lot of valuable information there and an opportunity to maybe get some of these drugs to the finish line. Let's talk about your business model. How does Bullfrog AI plan to make money? We have parallel paths in our business model. We have external projects and we have internal projects. External projects are fee-for-service fee strategic partnership deals with biotech and pharmaceutical companies where we're able to analyze their proprietary data, make discoveries, uncover insights, find patterns, relationships, uh, potentially help with designing a clinical trial or predicting disease progression so that uh, pharma can better develop, a, uh, design a clinical trial. Uh, and then in-house, we have our own development programs. We've uh, licensed the rights to a, a couple of drugs and we have another discovery program. And uh, our model is, is a little different though than a typical biotech in that we look to uh, use our technology to advance these development programs with a partner, right? So this is a precision medicine approach to, to drug development. But uh, our goal is to get in and out of opportunities as quickly as we can. So we're constantly cranking that revenue engine. In order to do that, you're going to need a great management team, which I know you've got, Vin. Introduce us to the Bullfrog AI team. Yeah, we have an outstanding team. Uh, I, I say we have a very deep bench. Uh, everybody on the team, is, or most of the people, have about 25 plus years of experience uh, coming from you know, different parts uh, of industry and academia. So we have people that uh, you know are, are, are brilliant intellectuals, others that are uh, dr drug developers and others that know how to build a business, like coming out of Thermo Fisher Scientific, for example. Our chief commercial officer, uh, he comes out of Thermo Fisher uh, Scientific and Covance. Uh, he's had a, a very successful career building businesses from a few hundred million to over a billion dollars for them. Uh, our CFO has more than 40 years of experience, has been CFO of multiple public biotechs. Our chief medical officer comes out of Takeda Pharmaceuticals, and so on and so forth. Uh, so it's a, it's a great team, great chemistry, and I think you know to be successful in this industry, you need that mixture of of people with diverse backgrounds and experiences to to be successful. Tell us what we can expect in the fourth quarter and into 2024, Ben. Well, we're completely focused on revenue, getting deals done. You know, we expect our pipeline that we've been building aggressively over the past several months to mature and start yielding results. Uh, in our space, you know, the sales cycle, is, it's not days or weeks, it can take three to six months. And we're at that point now. So we expect to start getting some deals done that's, that are gonna be revenue generating deals. We're also aggressively pursuing strategic partners 
for uh, two of our in-house development programs. Uh, so we're very excited about the potential there. And we recently announced some exciting news about one of them, our glioblastoma program. Uh, we completed an animal study comparing our two glioblastoma drugs um, and got very positive results. Uh, both drugs uh, appear to be effective in shrinking tumors, and one of the drugs has uh, additional advantages. So we think that makes it an, an even more attractive program uh, for, for partnering. Uh, but that's really the focus uh, the rest of this year and all of next year. I want to know more about this BF Leap platform. You've added some new collaborations recently, Vin. What do you see happening there? Yeah, we're really excited about this one. Uh, we recently announced a uh, strategic partnership with the Lieber Institute for Brain Development. This is a world-renowned research institution based in Baltimore. They have the largest collection of post-mortem brains in the world, over 4,000. And that's really important because neuropsychiatric disorders are a massive problem. One in eight people on planet Earth have a neuropsychiatric disorder. There's, it's a very big market. There's huge challenges in the development of drugs in that space. Uh, and that's because number one, the brain is an extremely complex organ and very difficult to model. Out of all the organs in the body, it's the one we know the least about. Number two, animal brains are not a good model for human brains. So that presents all kinds of challenges. And number three, you can't biopsy somebody's brain and then uh, study the tissue. So that prevent, uh, presents even more challenges and obstacles. So uh, getting access, exclusive access to this massive database, very comprehensive, very deep, uh, robust database of, of brain information is gonna allow us to do things that are gonna ultimately lead to revenue for Bullfrog. And that's gonna happen a couple ways. We're gonna analyze this data across a whole spectrum of neuropsychiatric disorders. And I think two big things are gonna come out of it. One, we're going to identify clusters of factors that better predict patient disease progression, which will then allow pharma to design a clinical trial that can be successful. So this is a precision medicine approach. The second thing is identifying potential new drug targets for a whole series of neuropsychiatric disorders. Uh, pharma will be interested in screening their library of drugs against these drug targets. And that presents maybe uh, several different opportunities for them. One, existing drugs that they have that are approved, maybe they can be repurposed if there's a hit there. Two, drugs that have failed, maybe they can be revived, okay, if, if, if there's a hit there. And three, it might be a new drug development, new drug discovery program uh, that can be launched uh, based on those findings. So again, this is, a, uh, this is the first time all of this data is being analyzed with an AI, and we have a very powerful proprietary AI. So it's a, it's a combination of two great organizations uh, with, with, with two very powerful strengths, um, and we're hoping it's going to make a big difference in the world of uh, CNS. In summary, Vin, what is the essential value proposition? Why should investors take an interest in Bullfrog AI right now? So the drug development industry is, is inefficient. There are extremely long development timelines, 10 to 15 years, one to two billion dollars to develop drugs, and the failure rate is still incredibly high. Using our technology, we intend to do a few things. Number one, shrink development times. Number two, shrink the investment required to get a drug through development and to market. And number three, increase the success rates. And if we do all of that, everybody watching is gonna benefit because then you're gonna have more successful drugs that actually work for patients and that are actually affordable. And that's ultimately the goal of what we're doing. It is an amazing story, Vin, and you tell it very well. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you, Craig. It's been a pleasure.